Do you need a few creative ideas? We'll show you how to make cool decorating items out of available materials. Let's make a lovely cup coaster. We'll need wooden clothes pins. Remove the spring. Take apart a few pins. We'll need the wooden parts. Join them together by the flat sides. Assemble them this way. Add a pin half to each side. Fasten this clothes pin puzzle with hot glue. Attach one detail at a time. Done! You can place your mug on it. The intricate coaster made of light, unstained wood is a simple way to add individual character to your room design. Let's make another cup coaster. It'll be smaller and stricter in style. This time, the wooden details will be set in another way. Place them next to each other, flat side down. Make sure the clothespin tips are opposite to each other. Form a square. Hot glue the details, adding one at a time. Turn it over. Wow! The coaster looks like it is a compound of wooden bars. This smart cup coaster will take up very little space on your desk. Another life hack is how to make a smart holder for photos or pictures. We'll need wooden parts again. Make long stands. We'll need three of the same details. Hot glue them together to make a turned over V shape. Add the third stand. Attach a crossbar to shape an A. Oh, the holder looks like a tiny easel. Choose a fitting picture or photo. This unusual photo holder will help create a style of your own. Make another hanging high-tech vase. Bend a piece of wire at a right angle. Fold up again in about 5 inches. Turn the wire up and a slant. Cross the ends. Bend the wire at the intersection. Make it parallel to the tabletop. Wind it around the cap. Cut off the excess. Fasten the ends. Put in the bulb. The minimalist installation is ready. Pour in some water and put a little flower or bunch in. We'll turn a blank toothbrush cup into a funny M&M's holder. Let's get started with covering it white. When dry, apply the basic paint. Make it sunny yellow. Sketch the main character, yellow. Draw an egg shape. Add eyes. and a smile, and expressive eyebrows. Draw the main feature, the letter M. Paint the eyes in letter white. Define the details with a black marker. Start with the eyes. Draw a pupil. Leave the white reflection of light. Repeat for the other eye. Add a smile. The lovely yellow will smile at you every morning. It won't take long to make, but if you find it difficult, use a sticker or print out the image. Make 3D candies on the bottom. Use the hot glue. Make it in the same style as Skittles in the prank video. Squeeze button-shaped drops. Paint them in different colors. Green, red, blue, Paint the letter M on each candy. Use a thin brush or a correction pen like we did in the previous video. Wow! 
Wow, it's cool! The happy yellow will cheer you up each time you need to brush your teeth. Take scrapbook paper for another decorating idea. We'll need Dixie cups. Choose a LED garland again to avoid melting the plastic cups from the heat. Make a shade template first. Cut the cup open and cut off the lip and bottom. Put the template on the scrapbook paper and cut out a lampshade cover using a craft knife. Be careful to underlay a cutting board, or you can trace the template with a pencil first and cut it out with scissors as you like. Wrap the cutout around the cup to see if it fits right. Perfect! Let's continue! Make various shade covers from different scrapbook paper. This color range will perfectly match a nursery design interior. Let's complete the garland lampshades. Use white glue to attach the shade covers to the cups. This is it! Make an X cut on the bottom of a cup. Pass a LED bulb through and be sure it won't slip out and hold tight inside. Repeat the step for the other cups. Add the finishing touch. Take small pieces of tool. Tie bows on the string between the lamps. Perfect! This gorgeous garland will decorate a kid's room interior or embellish an outdoor party. Today, we'll show you how to make a heart-shaped decorative cushion from burlap. We'll need burlap, pattern fabric, decorative ribbons, buttons, beads, twine, and threads. Take a square piece of burlap, fold it in half. Place a round object of a proper size. Trace it to form an upper part of the heart. Complete the outline and draw a lower part. Cut out a heart base. We have two heart halves. Start sewing them together with a thick burgundy thread. Keep a small piece of thread loose. Tie a double knot. Continue sewing the cushion with a running stitch, keeping half an inch allowance. Leave several inches unsewn to stuff the cushion with filler. Draw a smaller heart on the pattern fabric. Cut it out. To make the heart sides identical, fold it in half and trim the edges. Attach the pattern heart to the burlap using a glue gun. Decorate the cushion with ribbons. Take a wide lilac satin ribbon and fold it in this way. Glue the inside. Fold across the edges and glue. Attach the lilac element to the upper part of the pattern heart. Now decorate the cushion with a lace ribbon. Take two small pieces. Put them together. Add a line of glue across the bottom edge. Carefully cut out the very edge of the ribbon and unfold. You have a lace decorative element. Add some glue to the back across the middle line and attach to the satin detail. Now, decorate the cushion with a thin satin ribbon of a tender beige shade. Attach it to the center of the lace element. Glue the ends, folding them under the lilac detail. Make a small bow from a white satin ribbon, keeping the ends long. Z-cut the edges. Take a big, dark lilac button and attach it to the beige detail. Place a double bow decoration under the button. Take a thin burgundy ribbon and tie a bow like the white one in form, but smaller in size. Attach it to the white bow. Glue the detail under the button. Take white bead halves. Attach one to the center of the button. Add them to both sides of the beige ribbon detail. 
and to the burgundy bow. Add lace decorating elements to the upper halves of the heart cushion. Make a round cut across the lace ribbon's inner edge. Put the lace between the cushion sides across the edge and glue. Cut off the excess. Add the same detail on the other side. Take a small pearl button and glue it over the decorating element. Thread a bead using twine to make a loop for the heart. Place the twine bow over the pearl button and glue. Stuff the cushion with filler. Complete the seam. Tie the thread ends and cut off the excess. This festive handmade heart-shaped cushion will become a wonderful gift for St. Valentine's Day. Share your impressions. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and be the first to see new holiday decoration tutorials.